all you have to do is these productivity tips and you're going to become very successful as a PhD student. And then you're going to get the next job at MIT or Harvard or Caltech or Princeton or whatever it is that you're looking at. And then you're going to become the next Nobel laureate. That's all it takes is getting those little simple productivity tips done. And that's what's going to work out. You know, it doesn't work out that way. You're forgetting about the demand side. Right. So right now you're thinking about the supply side. So you're thinking about yourself and all the different things that you can change to get there and to make all the difference. You're forgetting about on the supply side. You're not the only PhD student that is uh, strategizing and thinking about all these different techniques and things to get things done. And, you know, it's just really focused um, that you are just working on that one particular thing and nobody else is doing this in the whole wide world lots of people are doing the exact same thing. And on the demand side, you know, professors really kind of know who is the real deal and who is doing things because they want to do the things that they want to do. And they're passionate and they care and they actually want to make a difference in this world. It really becomes painfully clear when you see somebody that is very transactional and they're just working on something just to get something done or something out or get some sort of relationship from you or get something done that you can do for them. And the more that you work with individuals that are like that, the more it becomes clear that, you know, that, that they're just transactional and you have to think about that as PhD students, as doctoral students, you have to think that professors went through this themselves and they've seen this all done themselves. And they've seen other people do these kind of techniques and these tricks and all that kind of stuff. And it all works out in that kind of way. And a lot of people, you know, including myself, don't feel comfortable with that sort of transactional stuff, right? You can't really hack your way to becoming a professor. There's not really a good way to get there other than being authentic, really just doing the things that you really love to do, being caring, actually look out for other people, talk to other people. When you see other people that are being down, it doesn't matter if they are a professor themselves, but just look out for them, just care for others, you know, and do good work, right? That's the biggest thing is just doing good work. We know that some people are not the nicest people around or they don't really care for other people. Or sometimes it's really difficult to be authentic when you're, you know, your your authentic person is is maybe not appealing to other people. But if you just do good work, it does shine through and other people see that, that you're just doing good work and you tr are trying to do good work. That's a key thing. There's a lot of people that I've heard about that people are just absolutely blown away because they've done everything that they possibly can to test one particular mechanism, to explore one particular thing. And every time that they give a presentation, somebody says, well, did you think about this? And they thought about it in 10 different ways. And then they can show 10 different ways of how it didn't work, or maybe the results didn't show in this one particular way. Right. So they're just trying to do good work and that kind of stuff impresses people a heck of a lot more than trying to write some stuff up quickly, trying to network with the right people and getting to know this CEO over here, this particular professor over here, you know, having the right advisors, taking the right methods course. Everybody can see through that stuff. That stuff is it's 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 not real and that's the stuff that's not really going to get you to the position that you want to get to you just have to do good work be authentic and be caring that's really it and i also want to ask you one other thing that's important for you to think about if you're trying to think about all these different productivity tips and hacking your way to becoming a professor someplace is you know if you actually achieve what you achieve right so you hack your way into becoming a professor and you hack your way to becoming a full professor someplace and you hack your way to becoming a full professor at caltech princeton berkeley 
um, you know, Harvard Business School, wherever it is, INSEAD, whatever it is that you're looking at, you're trying to hack your way into getting to those positions. And you actually become very successful at the thing that you're doing. Well, I want to ask you, is that what you really want to do? And is that who you really want to be when you are 65, 70, 80 years old, knowing that I did that and that was the thing that I did to get there? Really just think about that as an implication. It's like, do you want to be that person when you actually get there and you achieve what you want to achieve? Or do you want to be the person that you want to be inside, deep down, right there?